How you going, mate? I'm the Dusty Bogan. Nice to meet you, Arno Nell. Uh, good to have you here. Yeah, yeah. So we're here to, you're running the, this whole thing today. We're here to support the South African farmers, everything that's going on over there at the moment. You know, it's, and I've, I've got to say thank you for you guys being here. I think we need the support, but we also need the message to get out more. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, today it seems like it was going to rain, so that we're probably going to have less than the first March. But yeah. the message is important, what we're trying to tell people here is that mm. This is about people being murdered, it's people being killed, it's people being discriminated against because they are white. And it's not, it's not an easy conversation to have in Australia, but it, it's, it's truth. That is what is happening in South Africa. And the reason why it's happening is that the current government is failing even their own people. And now they're targeting the whites, so it hides the failures that they have. You know, not a lot of people realize, but there's 22,000 people killed every year in South Africa. There's over 40,000 women and children abused. There's communities that actually burn criminals. They burn them because the police is not doing their job. Wow. Um, these are the things that's happening. And to hide that, the South African government's now gone on a path for the last 10, 15 years where they, they target whites. They blame whites for everything. They blame whites for their non-delivery of services. They, they blame whites for the drought. And unfortunately, you know, they're getting away with it. The world is listening to what Cyril Maposa is saying. And if you just listen to him quickly, you think, oh, it does not sound that bad. But you've got to go and look at the history. What has happened over the last 10, 15 years in that country? Um, destroying the farming community, which is, which is what's going to happen now, will not only affect the white farmers, it will affect everybody in the country. And they don't care because it's about power. It's about chasing away the whites. You know, I think the whites are trying just as hard to get South Africa to work. They are also giving away, not a lot of people would tell you that in 94, 90% of the wealth in South Africa belonged to the white people. Mm -hmm. It's less than 50% now. Yeah. You know, so they, they, it's not like they're saying, no, we don't want to share or we don't want to help people. They are, they are doing it. The South African government is, is inefficient. They don't care. They would say the property, the, the, the land reform was too slow. But most of the time, it's them that's being slow and ineffective. District 6, which is a very well-known area in Cape Town, is yeah. government land. It's been 22 years and they haven't resettled people yet. And that's government land. It's, it doesn't belong to a white person because they don't really care. Now that it's election time, they would rather target the whites and blame them and vilify them to get the votes than actually do what a, what a responsible government should be doing. And this is what we're trying to tell the world and saying don't ignore the farmers and the white people being killed just because there's 22,000 other people being killed. You, you need to be appalled by both. Yeah. If, if you're on the left of, of the politics, surely you should actually look at this and go, there's something wrong here. Mm. But they are denying it because a few are white. Yeah. And, and, and that is the message that Australia needs to get. It's absolutely terrible, isn't it? And, and you're waking people up. One thing I know, I went to your first rally, thousands of people. And it seems that what you've actually done is make a change. You feel as though what we've, what I you've think done we've, is we've made a big change already and, yeah. and we need to keep on doing this because people start, are starting to listen. They are starting to ask questions. Yeah. And we realize if you ask questions about this, you will come to the truth and you will realize this is not just about apartheid. It's got nothing to do with apartheid. Apartheid was bad, it did damage. But what's happening now, you can't blame apartheid. You've got to blame the people in power for what they are doing. You know, I look at it, and, and if you look, for instance, it was said the other day that 12,000 Syrians were allowed into Australia's refugees. And I'm not against it, but I'm also asking the question, I'm an Australian citizen, I've been paying my taxes, I'm working hard. Why not my family? Why not my community uh, that are being killed? Why are they being ignored? Uh, that's my question that I, that I always, that I have when I look at this. It's... Yeah. What we do is not against anybody. It's saying, why exclude certain people from this? Yeah. Man, you're like, you're, you're a man who is at the front of this, aren't you? That's something I'm like, wow, here we go. A guy who's changing culture, standing up for something that is right. Because this is wrong. I believe it's wrong. I've heard this guy in the red shirt. Who, who, what's the guy's name? The, uh, the African, he's in uh, one of the Malema? Yeah, Malema, Malema, you're talking about? Uh, and this guy, I've heard his, I've watched his um, speeches on YouTube. It's out of control. 
No, it's you, it's like you, Adolf yeah. Hitler saying something. It's the the equivalent, isn't it? He's, he is as bad as Adolf Hitler any day, what he yeah. says. And, and he promotes killing whites. He's promoting chasing whites away. Yeah. The worst thing is, President Ramaphosa invited him nine months ago to join the ANC. Was his words was, "You are actually part of the ANC." This is what people don't realize. So when Malema's out there spouting his, his evil hatred message, the ANC is sitting back and allowing him to do it. They're not going to him and say, "Listen, this is hate speech." Or this. And South Africa is. There's a lot of hate in South Africa because of the history. But if you you fan it, and that's what's happening, it's irresponsible. It's wrong. You you can't. You can't allow, if I was abused as a child, will you allow me to abuse my children? No, you're not. Because wrong is wrong. We, we need, we're yeah, supposed to go wrong. forward. We, know, we need supposed to go. And, and, and Google Julius Malema, Google Black, Black Land First, which is saying kill the whites, kill the Boer, one bullet, one settler. Um, and nothing is done. It's just, it's, it's just ignored. And South Africa's come a long way from Mandela, isn't he? Like this guy who was peaceful, had a put put forward a good vision for South Africa, and now it's just it's well, taken, well, it's taken, it's gone the opposite direction right now. In our time in history, it's happening right now. Well, the last now. 10, 15 years, it's turned around completely, and it's becoming a racist country towards whites. That's what it is. And people can go and look at these videos and decide for themselves. That is. And if racism is wrong, it's wrong. Whether it's a whether it's a black or a white person doing it is wrong. Whether it's a majority or a minority doing it, it's wrong. Yeah. And and that's that's our message that we want to get to Australia. That's right. Hey mate, thanks so much. Thank and you I'm very sure much. we're going to have a great day tonight. We will, and uh, I'm sure a few more people will get the message and, and learn yeah, the truth. Yeah. So South Africa is playing at SunCorp tonight. They are, and yeah. uh, they need to win. You know, we need some good news yeah, out of yeah, South yeah, Africa yeah. as well. So. But I'm torn between two because I'm asking Australia to help, so maybe I should barrack for Australia a little bit as well. <laughs> hey, you got to back your your nation, right. and thank you. You're thank a great you Australian. I Cheers, mate. It and, uh, we'll talk again. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Before we go, this young lady here would like to donate some money to the world. Could we film that as well? Are we doing? These young girls want to donate some money to the world. With this, we've actually done fundraising for the Australian farmers, and it's about fifteen thousand dollars to get the back from it. And she wants to also donate that, so I was wondering if you could want that as a bit on. Yeah, we can. Okay. How about we give you the mic if you want? You can okay. do your. You, thing you can come and stand. Yeah. What is? Oh, you tell me when you're ready. What is your, What is your name? Caroline. Say again. Caroline, and what is this? Cool's gift card? Is it a, for who's the gift card? I don't know. Is it for the Australian farmers? Yes. Do you like living in Australia? Yes. Have you still got family in South Africa? Yes. You want to say hi to them? Yes. So you better say hello. Hello. And thank you for this, and I think all the Australian farmers that we help today will also really appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Cheers.